Hello children, so how is it going today? Hmm? Today is my day. Yes, you see that? Today is my day. Although it's a bit cold here, you can see I'm all wrapped up. Um, it, it's a book called Today is My Day by Anushka Ravi Shankar and illustrated by Pete Propler. So, you can tell me to be good and I'll sincerely try. You can tell me to eat spinach and I won't blink an eye. You can tell me anything you want and I'll do as you say, but not today. No, not today, for today is my day. You can tell me in September and I'll lend a willing ear. You can tell me in December or the beginning of next year. You can tell me any time you want on any other day, but today, no way. Today, strange things can happen. You'd better stay away. Today's the day to let me be, for today is my day. Rise and shine, yells Daddy, tooting like a bird. Rise and shine, he hoots again, as if I hadn't heard. I dig into my pillow, mutter, please, 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 not today. I want to sleep, dear Daddy. Won't you kindly go away? Go away to Bangkok or Tokyo or Rangoon and come back one hour later or better still at noon. But Daddy twitters, coos and sings and he flaps his hands like wings. I think that if he flaps too much, he'll surely start to fly. The next thing I know Daddy is high up in the sky. Yes. Brush your teeth, says Vela with a big sisterly frown. Your teeth are really yellow. In fact, they're almost brown. If you want your teeth to shine white and gleaming just like mine, firstly soak them for an hour in some lemon that is sour. Then go outside and facing south stand for an hour with an open mouth, just like a crocodile, I think, and give a sudden shout. For Bella's nose, I find, has turned into a slimy snout. Oops. What are these things that are happening? I told you, it's true. Today's a day to leave me alone, for you never know what I'll do. Milk, milk, booms grandma with a loud and friendly roar. She catches up with me just as I am sneaking out the door. When I was a little girl, she sighs with tear-filled eyes. My mother told me, darling child, here is some sound advice. Always drink five cans of milk an hour before sunrise. I followed it for 60 years without a crib or fussle. So now you know the secret of my strong and solid muscle. I say to myself that so much milk can only be drunk by a cow. The moment I say it, I hear a loud moo. Grandma is grazing now. Hmm, let's see, what else do I do? Yes, so, to bed, to bed, my mother screams, go to sleep and have sweet dreams. How can she tell me to get up and go when I am watching my favorite show? Mummy, mummy, I quietly explain, they are about to jump from a burning train. Such moments are few. Such moments are rare. Such moments keep one glued to the chair. Such moments are not for going to bed. I tell her with a sad shake of my head. But my mother just wobbles an old lullaby in a voice that is thin and piercing and high. As she sings on and on, I think with a shrug, if she were on TV, I'd pull out the plug. Good night, mummy. I lovingly cry, but my mother's on TV. She does not reply. There. Hmm. I keep telling you so. Today you should give up on me. Or you never know 
where I'll go as today is my day.